Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Gods. Today we're going to make my chicken green Thai curry. So I've got all the ingredients already done and prepped. So the ingredient list is going to pop up on your screen right now. You're going to need a blender. So nice and easy. Because the first row of ingredients, we just pop everything in the blender. Obviously, if you're allergic to um, shrimp paste, don't use it. If you want to make this curry and you want to make it vegetarian, obviously don't put the shrimp paste in. Don't put the chicken in. If you don't want chicken, you use fish, prawns. It'll go with everything. Right, all that's now slammed in. And if the blender behaves itself, which she's going to do, That's a little bit thick there, so we'll add a little bit of water. Let's have a look. Looks not machine. We've made the paste, which we've now got in this bowl. I've got a wok on medium heat. You don't need to use a wok, as long as you're using a big enough pan. So I've got that on a medium heat. I'm going to add two tablespoons of um, vegetable oil. You can do paste wise, I think about 100 grams. I'm probably using a little bit more because I really like the banging flavour. So you'll also notice I'm actually using red chillies instead of green, but that's just a personal choice. And also, uh, it was a little bit hard this, at, at the moment getting green chillies. So, pop your paste in. Literally one minute. Come in camera. Literally one minute, just cook it off in the pan. I just want to get them aromas start to come out. So then guys, I have got 400 ml, which is a full can of uh, coconut milk. I've got 100 ml of coconut cream. But what we're going to do first is we're going to add this in. We're going to reduce it down. Yeah, that's looking all right. It's good. If you could smell it, you'd be a happy chappy. So. Smash that in there, mix that together, nicely together. And then what we want to do, we want to reduce this by about half, really. We're now going to stick our coconut cream in. We can remove the lid. One for it. Learn lots of new uh, words when you start listening to me. Give her a stir, just get it mixed in nicely. Sometimes I prefer just to take it off the heat just to mix it in. Well that's mixed in well. Camera person, do you want to come a bit closer? Right, so I've got roughly about 500 grams of chicken thigh. You can use breast, but I find thigh will keep a lot moister. Uh, so basically one inch chop chunks. I can speak myself today. All right, chuck it in. Thank you. 
So we're basically going to poach it. And you'll find this meat is just absolutely tender. Right, so that's the chicken in. So let's, I've got two tablespoons of brown sugar. You could use palm sugar instead, but I prefer using brown. Now I've got about five lime leaves. These are the magic ingredient. Uh, I've got about roughly about three, four tablespoons of fish sauce. Now this is a seasoning, so add what you want. Might smell, but it will improve the dish. Then I think this, it stinks, but it makes everything better. Right, I'm gonna whack in my uh, red chilies. I leave my seeds in, just cause I like heat. Take them out if you don't want them, yeah? And like I say, use green instead if you can get them. So this coronavirus getting smushed been hard. Now I like a bit of colour. Now you can even add this at the end, but I like it to flavour. I absolutely love coriander. Now, normally I would actually add Thai basil, but I could not get it. Thai basil is magic. I mean magic. And then I buy basically a, 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 a tin of Asian uh, mixed veg. Whack that in, but you can whack any veg in. You can make this into a vegetarian green Thai curry very easily, because we're not using any stock. Just don't put the fish sauce in, don't put the shrimp paste in. Mix all that together, guys. Simple mix. And basically, just now, I was gonna cover that again, actually. Let's keep that in, and basically cook that for eight minutes. That's gonna be ready. Okay, We're gonna nice. be back. We're gonna be dishing up. Curry's ready. Made some rice, use the rice cooker, nice and quick. Right, so put your rice in a bowl. So I've got some cucumber here, which I've used a peeler and I've basically peeled down it. I've then stuck it in a little bit of lime juice and a tad of salt. Yeah, it's just nice and refreshing. So we've also got some coriander here as well. And then we've got some fried uh, shallots where you can buy these from the shop. So dress her up a little. Bang. Come in camera. One green Thai curry, 100% gluten free, can be made vegetarian and it's damn right yum. So for more recipes go to our blog www.godsoffood.com.au forward slash blog and hit, up, hit us up on there. Uh, we've also got a YouTube channel which you can find on our blog as well. And that's it from me, see you later for our next episode.